Hey everybody, hi, I'm Dr. Charles and welcome back to um, Vortex Reviews. So Vortex Reviews, the Patung Project. So this Patung Project is um, pretty amazing. This is by our fashion school in the design school at Taylor's University. So the fashion school headed by Ms. Maria Sandra Vijaya. She's the program director for the fashion school and her counterpart, uh, Mr. Riza, who's also a lecturer, designer as well, and the, they have led in a project with their students, their fashion students, and it's pretty amazing what they did in terms of augmented reality. So it's not always we get to see augmented reality outcomes, and what is happening nowadays is we are trying to bridge distances. We're trying to bridge the gap between reality and virtuality. So we're trying to see if we can utilize this technology to be able to to bring uh, to simulate um, what we are unable to uh, let's say access but simulate it to see it in hologram mode but i would say in augmented reality so which means that you are able to see something that is created and place them into a real world so there are many reasons for that and it's not a new thing actually we have always done that in a way like you know you get real photographs and you put real buildings on real photographs just to see how it looks like you know if it's really built in real life you know things like that simulation is not a new thing but what if you're able to do it in real time and you're able to interact with it as well so this augmented reality um, really revolutionize the way you access information, the way you're able to to um, describe what you see and analyze uh, what you see. So now, um, I'm casting my phone here, <laughs> so you might see some messages coming through. So anyway, so here you go. Now, what you're looking at here um, is actually uh, the... Uh, Patung project is based I got this page based on the QR code uh, they sent me so here is a QR code and chances are you'll be able to scan this with your phone right now since this is actually on screen um, so you I, mean, I think I'm able to um, zoom this up a little bit more like say let's make it a little bit bigger so yeah there you go so this is the, I'll just move this a little bit over here and a little bit over here. So hopefully you should be able, so I'm not blocking that QR code um, thing. So you should be able to scan this. Um, and if you're able to scan this, it'll, it'll take you to like something like an ad, but skip the ad. And then you'll go straight to Maya mode. Yeah. So you'll go straight to the app. And then once you come, you'll come to this front page it will exist it will explain to you the pro what the project is all about and um and how what the collaboration uh was all about and things like that so experience a 360 degree view of the dolls virtually through augmented reality now this is a very interesting project so collaboration between taylor's university and uh, the kale fashion week as well so and also with barbie mattel yeah so uh they put uh, designs fashion design onto Barbie dolls so they are clad in versatile garments based on four artisanal teams and these themes are Nyonya beading um, uh, Takat embroidery uh, calligraphy and henna yeah so you can see the specific designs um, based on those themes yeah so let's look let's have a look at the dolls so here goes. Let's start with um, Nor Hashima. Now, as you can see, the specific designs. But right here, I'm more interested to see how they appear in the real world. But these designs are gorgeous, aren't they? I mean, look at look at the attention to detail on the garments. Yeah, look at the 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 pattern work. This is incredible. Look at the detail. Yeah. Now the scanning capability. Um, this is ba this is basically scanning. The, the dolls were scanned by phone, um, a lidar compatible um, a phone, um, as described by um, one of the team members 
who made this possible, Mr. Razif, who's a lecturer in the design school as well. Uh, he's he's um, a specialist with augment, uh, augmented reality um, using Unity, using softwares, apps that could actually get this done. So here you could see that um, did a pretty, the phone has a capability to scan. Not every phone is able to have that LiDAR compatible scanning capability, but uh, this particular phone apparently is an iPhone. For further information, well, later on. But here, based on this phone and based on a specific software, they're able to bring this whole scanned model and optimize it the best they could, yeah, using the software. And and as an impression, and they tried to get as much detail in as possible, and it seemed to be working, right? Um, so you get the... Um, basically you get the gist of it so the most important thing is the form the shape the patterns are all um, basically quite visible right from head to toe so you can see you can actually zoom in now let's look at it in ar how does it work in ar now i have to warn you my table is really really messy uh, <laughs> okay now this is a bit tricky i'm just going to put this now it says point your phone down an empty space and move it around slowly so i let's see okay so where is she now oh there you go oh it's like very tricky so there you go so there you go so now i'm just going to put her on this i'm going to move my mic closer so you're able to hear me yeah so there you go so now you can see the doll on my table yeah so the doll is actually on my table right now uh, on top of my cutting mat to be precise and actually I can actually move the doll this way and bring the and uh, enlarge the doll a little bit bigger like this I can even make it life size if I wanted it to so that's one of the good things about augmented reality you can actually see it up close and and uh, it simulates the possibilities of how it looks like in life size mode in one to one scale so you can manipulate with the scale by through the interactivity yeah. So you can do this. You can turn the doll around by, by uh, pinching with two fingers at the base of the doll like that. You can actually turn it around. So I don't really have to walk and, and uh, walk around the doll, which you can actually walk around the doll with your phone like this. You can just like point it at her. You can go around her because it's, it's fully 3D. Yeah. So, so I, could, I could do that. So I could, I could spin this yeah, around. So... So if I want to see the back of the attire, so there you go, I could do that. Very elegant. I think they did a fantastic job with this. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And if you're watching this, dear students, congratulations. This is marvelous work. Yeah, incredible, right? Look at that. The doll looks like it's there, but actually, it's actually, you see, my, <laughs> if I put my hand here, you know the doll isn't real but let's just not go there <laughs> i prefer to to assume that it's real so see you see the my finger this one is close to the, you can see there's a there's a difference this is a projection it's an illusion but nevertheless you don't really have to put your hand there but you can if you just point it this way the illusion actually works yeah yeah so yeah my 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 room is really messy so that's why i don't want to walk around it so let's go to let's use a different doll now let's try let's try Steffi's doll okay so that's Steffi's doll let's uh very gorgeous looking doll here let's try a different uh, variation of the design incredible look at that let's try putting this on AR mode move around slowly there you go you just have to move your phone a little bit and then raise it up a little bit turn her around and there you go yeah so you can actually still position her anywhere around the space so you can bring her close you can bring put her far distance um i know we can't have more than one objects here but yeah only one object at a time so there you go. So it's 
beautiful. Yep, so that's another doll. Let's try another let's try a different one. Let's try Peyi's one. Okay. So you Peyi. Oh look at how different they all look like. So this one, let's try this one. This one. Cool. Let's try the one in black. Nice. Let's view an AR. Okay, let's um Yep, there you go. So yep, the doll appears here. And you could see it. Yep. So so you can actually bring as many dolls as possible. All the different versions of um the designs. Let's go to Michelle's doll let's see this is nice let's try something like this wow let's view this in AR okay so the tricky part is that you got to move your phone uh, up and down up and down then you should be able to see it so I'm just gonna zoom it up a little bit now oh, cute very nice you can see the face is not well defined but still nevertheless the most important part is the texture of the attire it's all quite there it's all pretty much there i think it's very very good effort here it's amazing isn't it it looks it looks like it looks like it's really there yeah so let's try another one oh this one is this one looks really good so you can see this um, there you go put him on the table here aha uh -huh. so put him on here there you go that's amazing look at that wow yep very nice yep fantastic work and i think i think they did a fantastic job with all of this yeah it'd be nice if you could have more than one dolls in every location in the same location i mean sorry <laughs> i'm getting a little carried away here wow So let's, you can see the patterns are so cool. Now, there's so many, re so many ways you can do this. You know, if you are streaming, you're talking to someone, you know, you might be able to do this at the same time. At the same time, you, you, you know, you're having a Zoom conversation or some kind of meeting with your friends. And then you, you, you know, you're looking at this together. I mean, it's so convenient because you don't, you don't have to go on site to see the dolls. You have the dolls right there. Yeah, so that's that is how we are going to do things right now. That's how you're going to do things uh, for the future. This is future technology, and it's here. But you know, it's only going to get better and better. And sooner or later, every phone will be capable of scanning objects, and um, there's just so many possibilities. So, yeah. So to the to um, the fashion school, uh, the the in the design school, Maya mode, congratulations! Um, you could, you guys did a phenomenal job, in really uh, exploring this new frontier of how you can present your design in augmented reality. So congratulations again to the team. Good job. So hopefully, um, we'll do some more reviews in future and more augmented reality stuff, perhaps virtual reality or XR. And I look forward to that. See you guys.